Chromebooks usually have excellent battery life and the performance is more than enough for daily tasks. This one is from Dell with the model number 5400. It has an Intel i5 chip. USB-C port is compatible with USB-C hubs, so it will gain access to the external portable monitors or the big screen 34 inch Samsung curved monitor at 2K resolution. Super impressive. The screen is a 14 inch IPS. Excellent viewing angle. A fully recharged battery lasted about 10 hours playing back a 1080p video on YouTube at 50% brightness. I did not get the exact number because my cat stepped on it. It automatically turned off at around 6% and it took 2 hours and 18 minutes to fully recharge to 100% at 31 watts average. The battery life is very impressive, just like my MacBook Air. Let's talk about all of its ports and the accessories you can get to further improve its connectivity or productivity, such as this triple monitor from KPQ or the USB-C hub. Uh, first of all, I would like to point out that the laptop can only be charged via its proprietary AC adapter, and it's not compatible with the USB power delivery uh, in the form of USB-C. This charger is rated at 19.5 uh, volts, 3.34 amps. Uh, you can potentially use a solar panel with this kind of Dell tip to recharge it off the grid, but um, usually at home, you cannot use USB-C for charging. Okay, let's first of all walk through all of its ports on the left side we get this charging uh, cable, then USB Type-C, and it has a P symbol, D symbol there, which means it is a display port compatible USB-C. It also carries power as well. It will be able to power the triple monitor I'm going to demo later. It also has the USB Type-A port. Uh, it's a pretty traditional port. I believe it is uh, USB 2.0. 2.0, yes, not a USB 3.0 because I don't see the blue uh, color code in there. On the uh, right side, we get the RJ45 wired Ethernet connection. Uh, there is a lock port, so you can lock it down to the desk to avoid um, theft. I really like the fact that it has the HDMI port, so I can connect my portable monitor to it. Let, let me give you a quick demo. I actually have one mounted right in front of me. Oops, it already worked. <laughs> yes, so you can uh, just sit down. Don't have to use this type of uh, USB-C hub to, inc to get the HDMI output. Uh, there, is, there are two USB-A ports. 3.5 headphone jack. I like the headphone jack. It also has the um, the microphone compatible. So if you get the four pin um, uh, headphone headset, then you will be able to use the microphone with one port. There's an SD card reader, the micro SD card reader, and the one at the bottom cannot be opened. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like uh, like a cover or something. Look could be a sim card tray i'm not sure okay that one i'm really not sure uh, the touchpad is really well designed it works just like the mac and you can of course change the pen the scrolling position from the google chrome settings of course okay um, so yeah, you can use two fingers fingers for scrolling this uh, really uh, mimics the uh, MacBook behavior and as you can see I have my um, portable monitors connected we'll see if if we can get uh, even more monitors out of it I actually never tested this if it is possible to get three or even four monitor out of it this is gonna be a crazy test so this is the triple monitor from KPQ which only requires one single USB-C connected to the laptop. I'm gonna try this. 
again, before doing that, I want to mention that this USB-C hub can be used to uh, get even more ports out of it. So you can get uh, two SD card readers, two HDMI outputs, power delivery input, but it will not support uh, USB-C charging. I also got the USB 3.0 and one USB type A regular port. RJ45 is also possible. Okay, now let's test the portable monitor from a KPQ. I'll connect the USB-C port here on the left and I will plug in the other end to its USB-C port. I'm not sure because uh, I already have an HDMI connected. Let's see if this will work. If it works, then it will be amazing. Usually comes online in under uh, five seconds. And it looks like if the HDMI port is used, it will not work. Hold on. I'm going to unplug it. Whoops. Wait a second. Looks that that like worked for a sec. Mm, okay, it's unstable. Let me unplug it. Or it could be a bad cable. I'm not sure. Maybe it can only output three... Uh, yeah, two extended at the same time. So yeah, that is a that is a pretty valid test in my opinion. If I plug in the so just to show you, I have th I have three um in independent windows open. As you can see, I have um. Yeah, I have three windows open, all displaying different contents. I can drag the windows across different screens. Um, yeah, this is cool. And I, I tried opening lots of new tabs and doesn't seem to slow down. Um, I'm gonna, and it's driving two 1080p um, IPS screens at 13.3 inch. And I opened a lot of tabs I'm trying to uh, open even more tabs uh, on Amazon. Let, I'll, I'll press down the contr control and click a few more links on Amazon. I'll click, uh, I'll, I'll open as many tabs I ca as I could. Okay, let's see what happens. This i5 CPU is really the key. Um, it's, yeah, it, the performance is very, very good. This is very impressive. This is super impressive. And the scrolling is fine. And I think I'm I'm also um, running the YouTube videos in the background. And I can do this, um, you know, desktop management just like uh, in Max. So I can get multiple um, desktops if I want to clean things up and I don't want to deal with the mess. Looks like it handled all these tasks just fine. And uh, I prefer opening the diagnostics so you can get a good idea of what the performance are and the CPU consumption, as well as the battery um, uh, charging cycles and the battery health. The memory status is also in there. Um, oh, furthermore, if you open, if you are a coder, you can use a Chromebook like this. You can go to the settings page and enable the Linux development environment. I'm not sure if uh, you guys would know, be interested in that. Uh, that's under settings, develop, uh, advanced settings, developer. You can turn on the Linux development mode and it will download about uh, 200 megabytes of stuff. And then it will enable the uh, Linux tools, editors, and IDEs on this um, Chromebook. Yeah, it's a very capable machine. I, I, I cannot recommend it enough. Um, and when, once you have all these um, accessories, this is uh, like a powerhouse for uh, development or um, productivity work, not just for browsing the web. With everything disconnected, uh, it's going to be... Um, you know, very portable, lightweight, and the fan, it's not fanless, the fan will kick in, but it will uh, stay pretty um, chill or, or just warm, never gets hot. Yeah, uh, the heat dissipation is very well done. The battery is full. Okay, when I unplug it, the it will calculate the remaining time. Usually I will get even more 
I like 10 out, 12 hours out of it. It says 13 point, 13 point, uh, okay, 13 hours, 31 minutes on 98% of battery. Uh, that is very, very good. Uh, so with light duty tasks, with all these button, uh, all these tabs open in the background, I'm, I'm still getting this kind of uh, estimated runtime. So it is safe to say you will get well over 12 hours of battery life uh, if you do some uh, web browsing. Um, or watch YouTube video like I already tested. It's like 10 hours of runtime on a YouTube video at 50% at brightness. Uh, you can change the brightness here. I, I actually cranked up the brightness all the way up. Computer, turn off the shop light. And you can see here, the screen is a 14 inch IPS. So that's a very, very good value. I, I like this laptop a lot. Yes. Excellent viewing angle. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.